I don't think they will really ins import the Austin to make this $20 counterfeit. But for what it is, $23, I think it's a good knife op uh, later opener. And it's very easy to open. As I said, a lot of people had cold, had cold steel just because they cannot open the knife single-handedly. Like this one. So a lot of people have problem with the smoothness, unsmoothness of the triad lock. So this counterfeit, I think it solves the problem. It's very easy to open. Oh, I have to talk about the weight. The real cold steel for Max is 10 ounce. This one is only three ounce. So way lighter. So I feel it's so light. Oh, uh, uh, the sailor lied about this. So when I, on the photo, I think the, the handle is very smooth. It looks smooth. And indeed, when I touch it, it is very smooth. There is no roughness on the handle. So it's not a good knife when the weather is raining. I won't use it when my hands are wet. But the Formex Scout, oh, I love this grip. It's very grippy. It won't to attract your fingers and hand. One last thing. According to Andrew Denko, this was designed to protect uh, fingers. So when they were prototyping this series of knife like Formex and uh, AD15, they are not sure the lock is strong enough, so they put Andrew Denko put a pinhole in it. And I bought this uh, pin from Amazon. And it indeed goes in. So it makes you feel extra safe to use cold steel for Max. Now you see, you cannot oh, close it. You cannot close it. It became a semi-fixed blade. So I feel very comfortable, very safe to use this knife with this small pin. Maybe another day I will use a fishing line to, to tie this uh, pin onto the, onto the lanyard hold. Could you please share how would you bring this pin with this knife? Or you think try lock is so strong, there's no need to bring a pin with you, with me. I mean, yeah, indeed. If I if I am going to, I am going in to use it very hard, maybe instead of bringing a pin, I should bring a SRK instead. Interestingly, this hole on the counterfeit version is also smaller, so the pin cannot go in, so you just get a smaller pin. For this counterfeit, I think I have more motivation to bring a pin with me. But again, <laughs> I think this counterfeit baby for Max will just be a toy used in my front porch to open later. But the open and the close is really similar to the true triad lock. But I have to point out, I think, so there's no play in the blade. So I like it. I thought some counterfeit, oh no, it's a play. There's, there's some play. So it's not a, it's not a tough knife. The precision is not ve made very well. So I really don't recommend you use this more than cutting paper. They are play. So the liner and the blade has a half millimeter gap. My fingernail can go in. If I apply some lateral force, the blade has some play, will go loose. On the other hand, the real Formex also has some play. I can feel some play and there is a gap between the blade and the liner. So maybe the lateral play is going to happen regardless the authentic one or the counterfeit one. But indeed I feel way more play on the counterfeit 
they be called steel. Then the authentic one. Let's see the immortal. Does immortal have a play? Yeah, a little bit, but not much. How about counterfeit? Oh, sorry, counterpoint one. I apologize. It's a authentic counterpoint one. Yeah, some play. So I don't blame the I don't blame the counterfeit. For Max has some play. So one question for my viewers: Would you bring a roping with your Formex gout? How will you bring this roping? Would you tie it onto the hole here with a with a fishing line? Please share your thought. And you have not, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.